Hey beautiful friends, welcome back to another vinyasa practice. We are in our second week of our philosophy series that we're holding here in December and January. This is where we go over our yamas and niyamas, which are the first two limbs of the eight limbs of yoga, and according to Patanjali. And these are guidelines and values and virtues for how we want to turn up in our world and also within ourselves. This week we're going over satya, which is truthfulness. And when we are honest, our thoughts and actions are aligned. And when we act in a certain way and in truthfulness, then the reactions and the kind of the results of that are pure and honest and are true to our intention. And this kind of works imperfectly with the uh, asana that we're going to work up to today, which is prashasana, which our noose pose. Physically, this is a deep twist. It involves an arm bind as well and deep flexion of the hips, the knees and the ankles. And on a more mythological um, level, a more subtle level, it also represents karma. And just to give a bit more information about this, I thought I'd refer to this book, Yoga Mythology, 64 Asanas and Their Stories. I love this book. Anyway, karma is both action and reaction. Action includes both voluntary actions and involuntary action. Reactions manif manifest as the circumstances that we experience. All that happens to us in life is karma. How we re react or respond to the events of our life is also karma. Pasha is visualized as a lasso or a knot. It is the noose of Yama, the god of death and rebirth. He maintains the record of all of our actions, the debts we incur in our life through desire, which we must repay in a future life. Only when we repay all of our debts will the noose liberate us and we will attain what is called moksha or um, mukti, freedom from hunger, fear, attachment, and the circle of life and death. And so behaving and thinking in a truthful way is one way that we can help to <laughs> kind of restore our karma and journey us towards that enlightenment and that liberation freedom. Okay, let's begin in our practice. Let's stand up. If you, oh, I should also mention, mention we are um, working in, our, in a physical way, in a man mandala uh, sort of style. And that means that we kind of go from the front to the back. We're doing a 180 style, so not full 360. Um, but yeah, just get prepared for that. Also, if you had a strap nearby or something really long that might help you with some arm binds as well as a towel or a jump or something that you can roll up for, to put underneath your feet for our noose pose. Start at the top, soften the knees a little bit. Maybe start to close down the eyes. And check in with what is honest and truthful for you today of your experience. In your physical body. In your mind and in your heart. And see how you can honor this truth in our class today. Maybe if you're feeling a little bit tired mentally, physically, you could slow things down. You could stop. You could pause. You could take breaks whenever you need. Just being truthful with our thoughts and with how we act upon those thoughts. Let's take a deeper breath here, breathing deep into the belly, the ribs and the chest. Letting the breath be a guide for our practice today. And 
and we'll take about three more breaths here before we get started. Really pulling our focus and our awareness to the mat in this present moment. And just start to crack open the eyelids a little bit. Use your next breath in to reach both of the hands up and over the head. Press the palms together. And then as you exhale, bend your knees, fold yourself forward, Uttanasana. Halfway left hand sessions, shoulders in line with your hips. And then as you exhale, hands towards the ground, walk your feet out a little bit, turn the toes out and then bend your knees into Malasana. So your hips might be a little bit higher to begin with. You might be able to get your hips down a little bit lower, but try expand the chest forward, draw the shoulders back, and then maybe the knees press out with the elbows. Hands reach towards the ground again, breathe in as you lift the chest, walk the feet back underneath your hips, exhale to fold forward. Let's try that again, breathe in to lift. Lifting the eye gaze as well, and then as you exhale, bend your knees, send it straight back down to the ground. Halfway left, hand to shins, lift the belly button up and in, shoulders down, and then as you exhale, fingertips reach down, swivel the toes out, heels in slightly, malasana. It might feel good to kind of rock from side to side here. And we really want to encourage this deep ankle flexion because this is where we will be sitting in for our noose pose towards the late end of the class. So think about driving the heels down, pressing the knees over the toes, Bring the hands towards the ground again. Walk the feet back underneath the hips. Breathing into lift halfway again. And then as you exhale, fold yourself forward, softening the knees, eye gaze in between the legs. Rise on your breath in. Squeeze the glutes, lift the arms. Exhale, straight back down again. Halfway left on your breath in. Arms along and then as you exhale, hands to the ground, walk your feet towards the side of the mat again. Bend the knees. You could stay here, you could shift the right shoulder in front of the right thigh and then try press the left knee out a little bit more with the hand. And then you might switch to the other side. So dropping the left shoulder in front of the left thigh as you press the right hand into the leg, opening that right shoulder a little bit more. And then when you're ready, coming towards the ground, lift the hips, walk your feet back under. This time we take a step back with our right toes, keep the back leg long, breathe in as you lift the arms above your head, high lunge. As you exhale, bend the left leg a little bit more, soften the shoulders away from the ears. Take another deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, reach the right hand forward, left hand back. So you're twisting towards the left side of your mat, soften the shoulders away from the ears. Use your next breath in, open to the right side of your mat, bend both of your knees, turn both toes out for your Utkatakonasana. Hands are going to come to thighs, take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, drop your right shoulder down, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, come back through centre, exhale, twist towards the right, so left shoulder drops down. Lengthen both of the legs, turn the toes in, breathe in. Exhale to fold forward, Prasadita to Padottanasana. Walk the hands towards the back of the mat, but pull your left hip back a little bit so you're lengthening through the left side of the body. Start to turn the toe, the right toes to the back of the mat. Left hand plants, come onto your left toes. Breathe in, twist the hand towards the sky, twisted lunge. As you exhale, right hand binds behind your back towards left hip. Look down towards the ground, breathe in as you step your left foot in hip width distance. And then as you exhale, bend your knees, toe stand. Left hand might come behind the back, clasping towards the right elbow. Take another deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, start to lift the hips, land the heels, fold yourself forward. And then when you're ready, release the hands, breathe in, halfway lift again, hands to shins. This time as you exhale, fingertips to the ground, step your left toes back. Breathe in as you lift the arms above your head, high lunge. Exhale, drop the hips down a little bit more. Inhale, reach the left hand forward, right hand back. Exhale to actively twist through the spine. 
Turn to your side of your mat. Goddess pose, breathing in, hands come to your thighs. Exhale, left shoulder drops down first. Look over your right shoulder. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, twist the right shoulder down. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, back through center. Turn the toes in, heel slightly out. Exhale to fold forward. Start to walk your fingertips towards the front of the mat, but stay with your legs. Breathe in. Exhale, drop the chest down, draw the right hip back, curve through the spine. Keep pivoting to the top of the mat, turn the left toes forward, right hand plants, breathe in as you twist your lunge, left hand reaches towards the sky. Exhale, left hand binds towards the right hip. Look forward, breathe in, start to draw the right foot forward, hip width distance, and then as you exhale, bend your knees, right hand comes behind to clasp onto the left elbow. Breathe in as you lift the hips, drop the heels down, exhale to fold. I'm going to try the sequence again, breathe in, halfway lift, shoulders pull down the spine, exhale, hands down, step your right toes back. Breathe in to lift, as you exhale we twist directly towards the left, inhale, spin towards the right side of your mat, turn the toes out, as you exhale, hold, turn the palms up, arms along. Breathe in, lengthen the legs, turn the toes in. Exhale to fold. Walk the hands towards the back of the mat, but keep the legs where they are. Breathe in. Exhale, drop the chest down, draw the left hip back. Breathe in as you start to pivot your right toes to the back of the mat. Left hand plants, right hand reaches. Exhale to twist. Our right hand comes towards your left hip, breathe in, start to send your left foot forward, exhale, dropping the hips down towards the heels, hands wrap behind your body. Breathe in as you start to lift the hips up high, and then as you exhale, fold forward to keep the hands clasped. Hands return to the shins, lift halfway, and then as you exhale, fingertips down, step your left toes back. Bend your right knee, breathe in as you lift high lunge. As you exhale, twist towards the right. Right hand back, left hand forward. Breathe in, start to turn towards the left. Utkatakonasana. Exhale, bend your legs. Hands along, palms are up. Inhale, lengthen the legs, turn the toes in. Exhale to fold. Soften the knees a little bit. Keep the legs where they are, but walk your fingertips towards the front. Breathing in. And then as you exhale, draw the right hip back. Keep swiveling yourself around until the right hand plants down. Breathe in as you lift the left hand towards the sky. Exhale, bind the left hand behind towards your right hip. Look forward. Breathe in as you step your right foot forward, hip width distance. And then as you exhale, hands come behind both of the back. Bend your knees, lift up tall. Breathe in, lift the hips, lower the heels. Exhale to fold. Hands to shins, breathe in, lift halfway. Exhale to fold it again. Okay, we're going to change it up a little bit. Shift the weight into your left foot. Breathe in as you lift the arms above the head. Right knee lifts towards the chest. And then as you exhale, take a long step back. Plant the right heel down, but lean yourself forward. Pajvottanasana pyramid pose. You might even lift the left toes here, digging the left heel down. Both legs are long. Plant the hands down, tuck onto right toes, breathe in as you sweep the left toes high, three-legged dog, draw the shoulders away from the ears, exhale, roll yourself forward, left knee to nose, set the left foot back in between your hands, plant the right heel back down, we lift up for our better Bedrasana one, warrior one, so that right foot might be out a little bit more, so you can help draw that right hip forward, left hip back, maybe you start to lift the eye gaze without extending it um, opening your spine too much. Tuck it in. Hands come through heart center. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, active twist towards the left. So you just turn the chest as much as you can, leading with the left elbow. Option to lift your right heel off the ground so you come onto toes. Breathe in here. As you exhale, lean forward, keep the twist. Right elbow tries to hook over the left thigh. Twisted lunge. Look over your left shoulder. Keep that back leg really long. We're going to use our next breath in to shift the weight forward into our left toes. Release the hands down by your sides. Warrior three. Knit the rib cage up and in. Squeeze the glutes. Now you could stay here or start to lift the chest, lift the foot. Reaching your eye gaze forward, fingertips behind you. 
Take another deep breath in here. This time as you exhale, curl the right knee towards the nose. Can you hug one hand on the knee, one hand on the ankle and curl that uh, the knee up towards the chest as much as you can. Take a long step back with the right toes. Turn the right toes to the back corner of your mat, breathing in. And then as you exhale, Skandasana. So right knee is pressing out over the right toes. Left toes are lifted high towards the sky. And you might have your right heel off, that's totally cool. Start to twist towards the back, left hand plants. Breathe in as you lift the right hand high. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper into your twisted lunge. Okay, start to look forward, breathe in as you sweep both of the hands high, left, left knee pulls up towards the chest. And then as you exhale, cross the left foot over the right thigh. Hands come through heart center, sink the hips back and down into your Adha Utkatasana. Left knee presses down, shoulders away from the ears. Breathe in as you lift the left knee back up towards the chest, arms reach high. Exhale, step back with your left foot, plant the left heel down, Pajwatanasana Pyramid Pose. Maybe right toes lift up as well. Make sure you're not rock locking out your right knee here, there's a soft bend of it. Plant the right, the, the hands towards the ground, tuck onto left toes. Breathe in as you sweep the right toes high, three-legged dog. Exhale, roll yourself forward, right knee to nose. Set the right foot in between the hands. Left heel plants down a little bit further out. Breathe in, warrior one. So how strong can you make that back leg? Keep pushing the left heel down into the ground, the outer edge of the left foot. Tuck the tailbone under. Breathe in as you bring the hands towards heart center to keep the chest up. Exhale, active twist towards the right. Option to lift the left heel off the ground. If you want to challenge, you could keep it down. Start to uh, lean yourself forward, keep the twist of the spine breathing in. Then as you exhale, hook the left elbow over the right thigh and twist towards the right side of your mat. One more breath. Start to look forward. Bringing some weight into your right foot, reach the arms back, lift the left toes off the ground, warrior three. Shoulders away from the ears, and you could stay more parallel with the ground, or start to lift the left foot high, open through the heart space, so you're kind of curving through your spine here. Take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, draw the left knee towards the nose, round yourself forward, one hand comes onto the knee, the other hand comes onto the ankle. You try to pull the foot and the shin as close to you as you can. Long step back with the left toes turned towards the side of your mat. Left toes turned to the front, breathe in. Exhale, Skandasana. Right toes lift, hips over the left heel and you might press that left knee out with the left elbow. Breathe in as you turn to the front, right hand plants. Exhale, twist, left hand reaches high. Look forward. Breathe in as you shift the weight forward, right knee comes towards the chest, arms over head. As you exhale, hook the right ankle over your left thigh, hands through heart center as you push your hips back. Take one more breath here. So it's kind of a lot to remember, especially since you're kind of turning away from the video, I assume. Okay, one more time with that flow. Breathe in as you lift the arms above your head, Right knee into the chest, exhale, Pajwatanasana, land the right heel down, lean forward, soften over your front leg, maybe lift the left toes. Hands plant down, tuck onto right toes, breathe in as you sweep the left toes high, three-legged dog. Exhale, roll yourself back forward, set the left foot in between the hands, right heel plants, breathe in as you lift, bit of a just no one. Exhale, try bend the left knee a little bit more. Breathe in, hands through heart center. Exhale, active twist towards the left. Maybe you lift the right heel off the ground, breathing in as you lean forward, keep the twist. Exhale, hook the right elbow over the left thigh. Maybe you stay here. Option to expand the arms wide. Maybe right hand comes down to the ground. Maybe left hand lifts. If you wanted to find a half bind or full bind, you can also do that as well. Left hand starts by coming behind the right hip you might stay here or your right hand might curl underneath you so you're inwardly rotating it quite a bit clasping onto the left fingertips we're not going to stay here for too long 
Start to unwind, look forward, spring out of your back foot for warrior three. Hands reach behind. Engage the glutes and then start to lift the right toes, maybe looking forward, shoulders rolling back. Take another deep breath in. And then as you ex exhale, curl the right knee into the chest, hug the shin in, tuck the chin in. Breathe in as you take a long step back to the back of the mat, turn the right toes. Exhale, skandasana, turn the left toes high, sink down, push that right knee out. This time, if you wanted to find a bind on this side as well, you can extend your right fingertips back. Maybe left hand lifts. You could say here again, bind to the left hand behind towards your right hip. Maybe right hand comes behind. If you do find the spine, can you push into the leg and open that left shoulder back? Turn to the back of the mat. Left hand plants. Breathe in, lift the right hand high. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Start to look forward, breathe in as you lift the left hand, the left foot high, hug it into the chest, arms reach, exhale, flex the left foot, cross it over your left thigh for your Adha Utkatasana. Now you could stay here if you wanted to find another twist, start to lean forward with your Anjali Mudra, your prayer hands, and then see if you can hook left elbow on the inside of your right, sorry, inside of your left um, foot. Then you press through the left elbow to try traction the heart towards the hands. Just one more breath. Breathe in as you lift both of the hands up again. Lift the knee to the chest. And then as you exhale, long step back. Fold forward. Both legs are long here. Tuck the chin in. Hands plant down. Tuck onto the left toes. Breathe in as you sweep the right toes high. Three-legged dog. Exhale, roll yourself forward, right knee to nose. Really try to hug it in. Set the right foot in between the hands. Left heel plants down, breathe and lift the arms. Warrior, warrior one. Exhale to hold. Tuck the ribs in, tuck the tailbone under. Breathe in as you bring hands through heart center. Exhale as you twist towards the right. Maybe lifting the right, the left heel off. Keep the twist as you breathe in, lean forward. As you exhale, hook the left elbow over the right thigh, looking up. Again, you could stay here. You could try actively, or you could use your right hand to help you to lift the belly button up, and then over to scoop your belly over the right thigh. As you reach the left hand down, right hand up. You could stay here, or you could find half bind, reaching right hand towards the left hip. Maybe <laughs> left hand comes around, so you're internally rotating it, kind of making it come towards your hips first, and then you pull it underneath the body. Try lift up and away so you're not leaning down and dumping all of your weight into your right leg. So start to unwind, look forward, extend the arms back as you lift the left foot off the ground, breathing in, warrior three. Exhale, maybe starting to lift the eye gaze, lift the foot, shoulders back. Stay here or start to curl the left knee towards the chest, hug the hands in. Long step back to the, now to the front of the mat, breathing in. Exhale, skandasana, right toes turn high. Left knee bends, you could stay here or bring the shoulder on the inside of the left leg, extend the left hand out. Maybe right hand comes back. Maybe left hand comes underneath. Pivot to the front, right hand comes down. Breathe in, lift the left hand high. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Shift the weight into the left foot. Breathe in as you look up, reaching the hands towards the sky, lifting the right knee. Exhale, flex the right foot, cross it over your right thigh, drop the hips back. You could stay here or lean forward a little bit more. Try bring the right elbow to the inside of the right foot and then press away. <laughs> it's okay to fall over and wobble here. When you're ready, we'll just slide the right foot down. We'll all meet in a forward fold. Uttanasana. Halfway left on your breath in, hands to shins, shoulders back. As you exhale, I'm going to find a narrow squat. Now this is where you might find 
your rolled up blanket or towel or something quite handy because we're practicing our Pashasana. Okay, feet a little bit closer towards, closer together than hip width distance. Lift the heels and then bring this rolled up towel underneath your heels. And this is gonna help with our um, ankle range. Okay, a couple of different options. You can just start to twist towards the right. Maybe just bringing the left fingertips down, maybe right hand high, that's already quite a deep twist. You could even just save more through center. Or if you want a little bit more right and can come towards the left hip, left hand's gonna internally rotate, trying to reach in front of the shins. And this is where your strap can come in handy, kind of reaching up and behind. And then you can just walk your hands down. I'm not gonna stay here for too long, but keep trying to open. If you want more time, you can pause the video. Feel free to do that. Nice. And start to release. Hands come towards the ground. We're going to step out. What leg are we going to step back? Step our uh, right leg back. Bring the right knee towards the ground. Left foot out a little bit more to find our lizard lunge. Now you can just stay on your hands or maybe one elbow comes to the ground, other elbow comes down. And just letting this moment be a way to drop in a little bit more after quite an active <laughs> practice. One more breath here. Start to walk your hands up. Turn your right toes towards the left side of your mat. Left fingertips might come to the ground as you breathe and reach your right hand high. Keep pressing that left knee behind you. And then as you exhale, keep walking your hands towards the back of the mat, right hand plants. Reach the left fingertips towards the back for a modified side lunge. You could stay here or start to bring the left foot towards the left glutes as you reach the right, the left hand behind, squeezing for a quadriceps stretch, or you can find more of a, a back bend here by extending the foot behind you. Let's lower the knee towards the ground, turn towards your mat in tabletop position and then send the hips back into child's pose just for a moment. Taking a deep breath in. Deep breath out. I'm going to make our way to the back of our mat, maybe taking your props with you to find that narrow squat again. So bringing the feet a little bit closer towards each other. You wanna find that scooping action. So you can physically use your hands and your body here to kind of lift the belly button up and over, up and over. And you could stay with the hands on the ground or you can start to maybe take the left hand behind towards your right hip. Maybe the right hand internally rotates and then comes back. Think about lifting your kind of lower abdominals in to help create space in your internal, um, internal abdominal wall. One more breath. Unwind. And step our left foot back this time, dropping the left knee towards the ground. Maybe the hands walk down as well for our lizard lunge. And what does your honest experience look or feel like for you right now? And how can you honor yourself most truthfully as we move through the final couple minutes of our class together? 
start to walk the hands up, turn the left toes towards the right, right fingertips might count them down as you breathe in and lift the left hand high. And then as you exhale, walk the hands forward, left hand plants to the top of the mat, breathe in as you reach the right hand up, squeeze the glutes, and then as you exhale, maybe you bend the right knee, bringing the fingertips around the front of the ankle, squeeze the glutes. And then slowly coming down, finding child's pose for just one more breath. And we're going to finish our class with a couple minutes of stillness. And this might be on your back. This might be in your child's pose. It might be in a seated position. Whatever position you are in, can you make it be truthful for your experience right now? Not necessarily. All I'm doing is offering and you can kind of just take it where you want to go. Releasing any tension in the body. Softening the breath. I'll let you know when we start to transition out. Yeah, if you had longer, I would so recommend you stay here for a little bit longer and stay in this stillness, this place of pause before we head into the rest of the day. If you wanted to start transitioning out now, just making your way slowly up into a seat. And going forth into the rest of the day, see how we can 
practice honesty in our thoughts, practice honesty in our actions, because every action creates a reaction and that reaction is the environment that we end up in. And so the more truthfulness that we can put out into the world, the more pure, the more intentional that energy, that um, environment will be for us. Bringing the hands through heart center, take a deep breath in, and then exhale, bow our heads. Honoring this practice of yoga and looking inwards and all the deep ancient wisdom that we can tap into. And from me to you, namaste. Thank you so much for being here. I would love to know how you found it. And if you're curious about um, the other weeks, then keep checking in. This is going on from uh, December until the end of January. So there's a lot to explore. And if you wanted to explore um, yoga in more depth, you can head to our Patreon account down below where we have longer practices where we go into the multitudes of yoga. And that way you can support me in creating these free videos, these free classes for you. Anyway, I hope to see you again sometime soon.